going on guys back at it again with another fallout 4 video here on the channel if you guys were watching the last video you guys know i'm on the institute portion of this quest line towards the end admittingly and that's why i decided to change uh my outfit into coarser uniform and of course my pit boy is now institute uh colors although i don't like the color scheme it is what it is uh, also, I changed my backpack into something a little bit more appropriate for the Institute until we get to the point of no return with the Institute, and then we'll decide which route we will go, of course, with your help. You guys, I am wanting you guys to choose for me which side I should choose a, as far as faction towards the end game. So, there's that. In this video, though, we're going to be doing the mission called the Battle of Bunker Hill. Uh, so there's that. With that being said, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because it really does help this channel grow. So enough yapping, let's get to playing. Let's jump into this. Alright, so the Battle Bunker Hill, inform the Railroad, inform the Brotherhood, reach Bunker Hill. So we're not going to inform anybody, we're just going to go straight to Bunker Hill. Uh, Bunker Hill is right here. Let's just fast travel there. Luckily, we've already, um... We've already uh, discovered Bunker Hill, so it's pretty simple. Just fast travel there, and the mission starts. It's sent, well, the mission already started, obviously, but there's the the thing. So, full disclosure, I do want to kill as many of the railroad agents as humanly possible, so I can steal their outfits. Uh, there's a reason behind that. Obviously, this is one of the only ways you can get it without having any real repercussions from it. So, because um, it weighs a lot, I'm going to get over encumbered really quick. So, I will be using a console command at some point. Maybe. Depends on if I get over encumbered, of course. Uh, I will be using a, combo, a console, console command just so that I can fast travel somewhere to drop off the outfits. But it, I'm not going to do anything that's going to obviously hinder the gameplay experience. There's nothing in this mission that's going to real really do any damage to me man i'm too powerful for any of that anyway so um all right so it's not this way let's go over here let's change camera views too hey you come here i need to talk to you sir i've been waiting for you uh how do you talk without moving your mouth look listen to me all right what's the situation so what's our situation i assume you've been briefed our targets are inside four cents under railroad protection majority of the settlement is uninvolved and are expected to run for cover. The situation appears to have escalated. Gasp! A covert approach is likely impossible. We move in, secure the synths, and I relay out with them back to the Institute. Clear? The mission's yes, ma'am. Requesting backup relay now. Wait, hold on. No, wait, 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 wait. All right, screw you. Looks like we're getting down and dirty. So all these railroad agents, I'm just gonna freaking take them out. Come here. Uh, this is just a Mark One, though. They're not gonna do anything to me. Oh, that one, that other one's dead. Yeah, I want their uh, their armored coats. Get out of my way, synth. I'm already. Oh, okay. That was a lot faster than I expected. Uh, they're, they're not going to attack me anyway, so this mission is literally... It doesn't really matter if I use a console command. It's weird, though, because I can run, but I'm encumbered, so I... I, I have to walk. It was weird. Alright, whatever. You! Sorry, sir. Oh, God. Come back here. Alright, can you just die already? This guy's very... Hardcore, so I'm willing to bet this dude has a better. There we go, Mark IV. He's got a Goss rifle, too. Hey, you. Let's, uh, let's just end his life. Come on. You can do it. Alright, let's do another one. Let's get closer. I don't like the. Hello. Nice of you to join us. 
It looks like we got another Mark IV. Is Mark V the highest? This person's almost dead. It's a chick, huh? Uh, yeah, I think it's a chick. All right, let me get into this menu. It's just a Mark I. Sorry, I didn't mean to leave you all butt naked, but... Hey, you! Let's off him. If I can hit him, of course. This is probably just a Mark I, judging of how easy he is to kill. Yeah, they're not, they're not going to attack me, so that literally... Oh, it's a Mark IV. So yeah, and using the console command for this really isn't a big deal, to be honest. There's no real threat here. Sorry, buddy. Dude, he was breakdancing in midair. That was cool. Yeah, I want all of these, though. Normally, I just go through this without using a console command. But if I was to do that, I'll be walking super slow and... I don't think that would be pretty fun to watch. Uh, another Mark IV. Thank you very much. Any more railroad agents around here? You! Let's off homeboy. Done. Where'd he go? Just a Mark I. Dude, I'm not getting twos or threes. I'm just getting nothing but uh, Mark IVs and Mark ones. Let's go to the basement. This mission is so freaking cool, though. I'm not going to lie. This mission's pretty simple, all things considering. But, uh... But yeah, I wish that, like, if you did what I was, what I'm doing here, attacking factions, that you would lose faction reputation. That would be cool. Uh, let's destroy this thing. <laughs> Hold on, there's a guy up here. Oh, come on. Let's go! Alright, I'm just running in. The Brotherhood can take care of the, uh, of the synth. Oh, I didn't realize there was one right here. That's not what I wanted. You! Die! Sorry, girl. Oh, there we go. Mark 5. That's gonna be for me, baby. No, give me this guy. I should check that Sid since he's a legendary. But I'm not sure if I am. Well, actually, you know what? Fuck it, I am. Die already! Alright, that's it. You're done. Alright, good. I was about to say, are you gonna die or what? Yes, another Mark V. Another Mark V? Yo, I'm on a roll. Hey, you, where'd you come from? Did they destroy the Brotherhood? They destroyed the Brotherhood. I'm gonna kill this guy literally only because I want to see what legendary he has on him. Come here. I know you don't want to fight me, but I want to fight you. All right? Can you just like off yourself? Uh, I mean, it's, it makes sense that he's got a synth thing. This is a heavy. Should I take it? Sure. Why not? X618. Is there any more that I missed? I don't think so. Sorry, girl, but you're in my way of greatness. Let me get closer. Look at that. I just blasted her like four times in the face. She doesn't even care. 
But that's this mission for you. It's it's weird that they don't attack back, but whatever. Hey you! Yo, whoever that was, good job. That they destroyed him. Where is he? I'll be taking that and that. Get out of my way, sin. Alright, whatever. That guy attacked me. Oh, alright. Hello. Can you say nighty night? Uh if I don't miss, that is? Finally. Okay, so in here I've seen maybe getting a lot of Mark Fives, which is a good thing. I probably should take that uh the, at least a couple of those Goss rifles, right? But whatever. Alright, we're here. Is that it? Ooh, technical document. Uh, let's look through all of this. Sure. Hello. I've been looking for you. No, no, I, I, I've got money. It's yours if you let me go. I'm just gonna play this as the institute for now. So, reset code. F633, initiate reset. Authorization code Delta 62 Arcus. Here they are. God, it's a Corsair. Oh no. Issue the reset codes and we'll relay back to the institute. I was Time trying to do that guy. All right, this guy's already done skis. All hey, right, you. Sin. Please. Let's go. Z322, initiate reset. Authorization code. Gamma four nine typhoon. I feel I feel really bad for this. No sudden moves. Please no. I feel Why really bad for this. Initiate reset. Authorization code beta seven seven tempest. Um. You there, synth? Come on, please, just, just don't. Sorry. B two fifty seven. Initiate reset. Authorization code theta nine three stratus. Return to the town. Make sure all hostiles have been eliminated. I will relay the synths back to the Institute. Report to Father upon your return, and... Good work. Thank you? Oh, snap, he exploded. I'll take that round. Thank you. They're all gone. I feel really bad about this, man. I'm not gonna lie. Before we return to Father, though, I do want to go drop all this stuff off so I can... Take off the console command. The god mode. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Yeah, heavy chat. Alright. I'll take that. And that. And that. Oh, they're attacking me now. Oh, that's cute. All right, I will. Give me a second. Good night. Die, please. Die, please. Good, he's dead. Heavy synth left leg. Do I have a... F Do I have a full set of synth armor now? Let's see, hold on. So I got left leg, left arm, chest, right leg. I need right arm, and then I got a full set. All right, all the synths are dying. Sorry, but all you stupid little synths are gonna die. That's a Brotherhood of Steel man, which I don't really care about. Oh, wait, there's this dead synth. Oh, there's a dead brotherhood here, too. I don't need any of his stuff. Ooh, wait a minute. You know what? I'll take this stuff, though. This is a left leg and right leg. So I got both legs. I'll take the combat armor helmet, too. Is this the green one? Hold on, where is it? Uh, boss uniform. Yeah, this is the green one. This is my favorite one. 
Yeah, because the heavy armor, I kind of want to use it on my, uh, with the uh, army fatigues. I'm going to go ahead and just kill everybody, all the sins. Don't judge me, alright? I probably should have killed all the brotherhoods, too. I didn't realize they were going to drop some heavy, you know, combat armor and synth armor. If that's the case, I should probably switch my armor. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to switch my armor to uh, synth armor. I think that would look better in my opinion. If I can load up out of here. Eventually. Um. Hello? <laughs> as soon as I pop, out, uh, pop up out of here, I'm going to switch clothes real quick. I think the synth uniform instead of the coarser uniform, I think it looks so much better too, man. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a huge fan of the uh coarser uniform i kind of wish that the synth uniform the one the the under armor i wish that was a ballistic weavable <laughs> that sounds so weird to say but you can't do that unless you know you install a mod which is kind of unfortunate because the synth uniform is one of the nicest outfits in the entire game in my opinion it is so nice sexy clean and the fact that you can't use ballistic weave doesn't make it very viable for like end game stuff in my opinion so it's like it's kind of like pointless man you know but I'm still going to use it anyways. Especially now since I'm, since I'm of the godly variety. OMG game. Let me out of this freaking place already. There we go. Alright, stand by, alright? Synth uniform, I'll be putting that on. Synth field helmet, where's all the heavy stuff? Um, Heavy synth left leg. Alright, that's, uh, no, that's leather. Okay, so I need, I need right leg and right arm is what I need for synth. Right? Yeah, right, I need my entire right side. Oh, no, the left arm is dirty. I don't like the dirty variety. Oh, this guy's dead. Any heavy stuff? Let me take out my thing just in case. Let me walk around. Just in case there's some dead synths that need to be eradicated. Oh, I'm stuck! Nobody? I hear one, I just don't know where he's at. Come on, man. There's got to be some heavy stuff around here somewhere. If they return, I will be ready. Oh, look at it. It's another one of these guys. Hey, you. Prepare to die. I don't think any of this is heavy, though. Dude, I offed them so bad. I don't think any of the guys out here are heavy since that's a brotherhood man you know what I'm gonna search him too just in case he's got heavy combat armor oh that's the pilot is there any more dead guys we still have a brotherhood guy All right, this is another synth guy. Hmm. Looks like another freaking airplane got destroyed, or a helicopter got a vertebrate. What am I talking about here, dude? 
Another vertebrate got destroyed. Um, there's a dead brotherhood. I might as well search him. Nah, there's nothing here. All right, well, there's that. Let's go ahead and fast travel back. We'll go. Hold on, I gotta check real quick. All right, so this is my Mercer safe house. I'm gonna drop off all of my my uh, what are they called? My railroad stuff that I just got, the railroad armor. I don't even remember what the hell they're called, man, to be honest. I just looked at it like a million times and it just kind of, it keeps messing me up in my face or, or in my head or whatever. But I'm kind of put all of my armor here in this place. Just because I, I, I think since this is Mercer safe house, I think I kind of want to put a bunch of people here. Uh, furniture like railroad pe people here to help guard this place from you know bad guys come on man load uh where is it all right this one we'll leave it here i still need to build this place up man to be honest all right let's go uh, i didn't pick up any weapons i don't need any of those when did i get a leather chest piece i don't even remember all right let's go railroad armored coat we'll put all of these in here too i'm still heavy all right well the rest of this stuff Actually, you know what? That's a... Let's give this guy a Mark 1. Come back here! He's my provisioner, so I want him to look the part. You! I'd like to trade some items. Okay. That hat would look pretty good with this outfit, too. Alright, let's give this to him. There you go. Look at you, bro. You look fucking sexy as shit. Good job. Proud of you. All right, well, let's go ahead and fast travel to my base, my actual house. And what we're going to do is all the rest of the stuff that I don't need, I'm just no, uh, I'm just going to drop here like the combat armor. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to drop the synth uniform, uh, synth outfits here too, man. I don't really need them. I'll probably just keep the Corsair, the Corsair, what the hell am I talking about? The Corsair outfit, only because that's obviously already done as far as like aesthetic goes. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. It's kind of unfortunate that we couldn't get a full set of synth uniform though. I just want to get rid of the, uh, the God mode that I have enabled, so... Hello. I'll let them take care of them. All of my companions should be here. Where's Paladin Dance? Isn't he supposed to be here? There he is. A little late there, buddy. Alright, let's go drop off. I want to put down... Actually, you know what? Hold on, what is this? dresser so what's in here hold on what did i put in here wait a minute i already have a bunch of synth stuff so then what did i put in here i'm not sure let's go ahead and just put all the stuff in here i don't even care right now all right we'll put Combat armor, boss uniform, institute lab coat, both of these bomber jackets. This bowler hat, I'm going to keep it though because I'm going to give it to... Uh, to what's his name right now? Uh, 
All right, let's go put all of this stuff. I'm gonna be butt ass naked here in a second. All right, this and that. Is that everything? I guess so. All right, let's go put on some clothes now since I'm butt ass naked. Um, where are patrolman sunglasses and then the armored courser uniform? There we go. Much better. How much do I weigh now? Well, I'm under here. Let's take off that. We should be good, right? I think we're good. So let's go speak with father at the ruins of CIT. I think we have to go to the actual ruins, not the actual institute. I just need to remember how to get up there. I think I have to go into the building. If I remember correctly. Seriously, the Chinese stealth suit looks pretty freaking sexy, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Kind of looks like it's wearing high heels, though. <laughs> Doesn't it? I don't know. It does to me. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to see that booty. All right. Wait, can I? Can I go up this way? Um, I don't think so. Can I go up there? I suppose we can find out. Wait, uh, through here maybe? No, yeah, I can't go this way. So I have to actually go inside. It's kind of unfortunate. CIT Rotunda. Luckily, it's not very difficult to get to make our way through here, so. Pretty sure there's like a battle that's gonna ensue in here between synths and whatever it is that's in here. Probably super mutants. What is that? Yeah, super mutants. And then I have to go this way, though. Alright, yeah, it's this way. Look at me, I have a great memory. I don't, but it's okay. And then I think this is where the father, where father is going to be. And he's going to be very proud of us. My dad. I mean, son. <laughs> it's so weird calling father, calling Sean father. Taking into consideration that I'm... Sean's father so calling him father is just kind of kind of awkward and weird I don't know my opinion of course let me know down in the comments if you guys feel the same way calling your son father I just find it strange maybe it's because I have kids and it'll be pretty awkward for my kids to to for me to call my kids father or I have a daughter too, so in that in that case, you know, mother. <laughs> Hello. Son, you know, in all my years, I've never set foot outside the Institute. Not once. Since the day they brought me here. I've never had a reason. But now, this just confirms the truth I've always known. Which is? The Commonwealth is dead. Gasp. There's no future here. The only hope for humanity lies below. Um, why are you out here? So why come out here? To put things in perspective, I suppose. Standing here, I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this wasteland. I know that to you, I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth. The Institute rescued me. Both of us, really. Uh. Uh. 
And me? But why refreeze me? As a failsafe, of course. I was the perfect candidate. An infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, well, the Institute realized a contingency plan was prudent. Another source of pre-war DNA, preferably related to their primary subject. It only made sense that my parents should fill that role. So you were kept alive and safe within the vault. I'll admit, when I had you released from Vault 111, I had no expectations that you'd survive out here in all this. To not only do so, but manage to find me. To infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. Uh... Wait a minute, so you let me out? So it was you. You let me out. Yes. It was my decision. Certainly it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I... Well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. An experiment of sorts. Oh, I had no idea up what kind thinking. of man you were, you see. Would the Commonwealth corrupt you? As it has everything else. Would you even survive? Perhaps most curious to me. Would you, after all this time, attempt to find me? And now I know the answer. Um. So I was just an experiment to you? That's all this is to you? All I am to you? Just another experiment? No, that's not all. But still. I'm glad it turned out the way it did. <clears throat> there are greater things to come after your success at Bunker Hill. The synths have been safely returned and will be repurposed. Thank you for your work. I hope you weren't at too much risk. No, not at all. What do you mean repurposed, though? What do you mean the synths will be repurposed? Modifications will be made to correct the defects in their programming. And they'll be assigned to new duties within the Institute. Not the first or last time it will happen. The railroad remains an annoyance, of course. But they'll be dealt with as necessary. And you, well, you've passed the test, as they say. You have done well. Please, take this as a token of my appreciation. Our appreciation, really. Cool. 500 caps, It's time caps, for nice. you to become more involved in the future of the Institute. I'd like you to join me inside. The directorate is meeting, and you should be there. I'll be waiting. I've seen nice. You. It's time to go back in. Mankind redefined. All right, so clearly I have to go back to the Institute now. So luckily for us, our map marker is pretty much already over it right now. So we could just fast travel straight there. It shouldn't be too long either. So we should be pretty good in that Department. T fifty. What's your guys' favorite power armor suit? The, obviously, there's like a bunch. There's like the T forty five, the T fifty one, T sixty, the XL one, or any of the ones from Fallout seventy six works too. I'm just kind of legitimately curious to see what you guys think. Hey, look, he's got clothes on now. Let's see what you have. Let's see if he has. Wait, right leg. I'm not sure if that's the one. Was it the left or the right that I needed? Sure, I'll take that for now. Anyways, let's go. We gotta attend a directorate meeting upon request from Father himself. Such a so weird, so freaking weird. Hurry up, Father. Let's get this. Direction. Shut up. I'll meet you there. Let me sit my happy ass right here. You know what? We should do. We should just wait an hour just to get Father here. We're all here. I think it's time we begin. Sir, excuse me, but what exactly is he doing here? I will address that issue. But there are other subjects that require our attention first. The level of unrest in the Commonwealth continues to rise, as we're all aware. Your report. 
All Institute facilities remain completely secure with the exception of one notable breach. Otherwise, internally, things are as tight as they've ever been. Dr. Ao has been keeping an eye on things topside. Yes. Uh, watchers show no additional threats beyond those previously identified. We're still monitoring the increased activity around Ford Independence. But there are no immediate signs of severe threat. Boston International Airport remains occupied, with Brotherhood presence noted at several other points throughout the Commonwealth. Intelligence suggests that this railroad continues to operate and is becoming more ambitious. SRB agents are monitoring all known situations, sir. Very good, very good. It's clear that our safety needs to be the primary concern going forward. To that end, where are we on phase three? Excuse me, but sir, are you sure this is, well, the proper time to be discussing that? Considering, I mean, given all parties present? Ah, yes, that's true. Have you heard anything about phase three? Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. It's all right. I wouldn't expect you to have. The project has been classified from the beginning. Power is, as I'm sure you've seen above ground, a very valuable commodity. I'm not talking about some abstract concept of control. I mean real, tangible power. The kind that keeps the lights on. With every advance the Institute makes, our need for raw power increases. Many compromises and sacrifices have been made over the years to allow progress to continue. Um, what kind of compromises, uh, compromises are you talking about? What kind of compromises? We have at times had to rely on drawing power from above ground installations. It risks personnel and equipment, but no longer. Phase three is simply the activation of a nuclear reactor that can provide enough power to the Institute now and forever. It will ensure not just our survival, but our prosperity. Um, a reactor? Can you tell me more about this reactor? Certainly. It was originally built for the Commonwealth Institute of Technology before the war, but was only for testing. Over the years, we've advanced the technology made a great many improvements and are finally nearly ready to activate it. The reactor is close to ready, but recent tests have determined we have a few tasks ahead of us. Thus, we come to phase three and to how you will help. Sir. Yes, Dr. Hale. Previously, we would rely on Kellogg for above ground operations, yeah? Well, he is gone. While I'm not overly fond of putting my own father in harm's way, he has proven more than capable of handling himself. Thank you. Y yes, but... This is not a matter for debate. Now, there is one more subject that requires discussion. I don't know that this is the time. Dr. Holdren, it is time. Please, as I'm sure several of you are already aware, I have been under Dr. Volkert's care for some time. I'm sorry, this is difficult for me. Our best... Efforts have failed. Every experimental treatment we could devise has been unsuccessful. I'm... I'm sorry to say I am dying. Gas, no, please, be serious. everyone, please. I am sorry. <clears throat> this is not how I wanted to tell you. But we're running out of time. Um... Uh, what do you mean you're dying? You're dying? I'm afraid so. A very aggressive form of cancer. Believe me when I say we've done everything we can. We can talk more later. Right now, the future of the Institute is at stake. The Institute cannot survive without leadership. The Directorate must continue to govern with the best interest of all in mind. To that end, I am naming my father as my successor. Super oh, gas boy! You can't be serious! Really? How can you possibly justify this? He isn't one of us. He isn't even a scientist. Ignoring your borderline insubordinate tone, I will simply say this. The Institute has enough scientists. What it needs is a leader. I believe my father has already proven himself more than capable in that regard. This will conclude this meeting. Thank you. Nice. Humanity's future is taking root 
right here. It's my responsibility. All right, let's see what he has to say about this. I had no idea. I had no I idea. Well, it's a lot to take in at once. I'm sorry, Father. I hope it wasn't too presumptuous of me to put you in charge without even asking first. Uh, in charge? What would it mean to be in charge? Most divisions of the Institute are fairly autonomous, perfectly capable of functioning without intervention. Where those divisions interact, however, problems can arise. You'd lead the directorate in setting policy, resolving disputes, and the like. There's no question that some of the directorate and the institute at large will need reassurances about your appointment. That's why I'd like you to take charge of this latest operation. Dr. Fillmore can fill you in on the details. There are hard decisions ahead for all of us, but for you especially. I know that you'll do the right thing. Mankind Redefined has been completed. I know you'll achieve great things here. If you say so. Mass Fusion. Speak with Ali Fillmore. She's the one in the yellow, by the way. She was in the directorate meeting, but we're not going to speak to her quite yet. This her right here. Um, here, let's, uh, let's just sit here for, I guess, 24 hours. Okay. There's something that I need to happen. Really quick, of course. I wish there was a way that I could speed this up, make it go by quicker, or just skip to the 24 hours, you know? Instead of having to sit and actually wait the entire time. That would be great. Uh, well, it looks like we're done, though, so that's good. Anything? Um... All right, let's wait for one more 24 hours. Then if nothing happens, I'm just going to go ahead and go to uh, to the requisition synth and see if I could buy another heavy, you know, synth outfit piece that I need that I'm missing. I believe it's the right side that I'm missing. So there's that. Two, one, zero. Yeah, I think I don't think it's gonna happen quite yet. Is it here? Yep. Hey, you talk to me. You are authorized to access my stock of supplies. Yes, I know this, sir. Sure. Let's take a look. Um, no, not weapons. Heavy. What? What is it that I have right now? Right leg. So I already have the right leg. I need the left leg. Honestly, I probably should have kept. Where's the pair? All right. Heavy synth. Where's the other piece? So right leg. Yeah, okay, so I have the right leg already. So there's that. We're good in that department. All right, we'll come over here, and we're actually going to call it a video right here, right now, guys. Uh, we're at the point of no return now for the Institute. And on top of that, we've already reached the point of no return for the railroad and the point of no return. Well, technically not for the rail... Well, kind of for the railroad. It's kind of, like, weird uh, with that, but we can't progress any further with the railroad quite yet. And we can't progress with the Brotherhood of Steel or the Father Institute. So we've reached the point where we have to choose, uh, you know, which, where we're going to be leaning towards. So there's that. 
Thank you guys for watching though. If you guys are enjoying this series, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, to see you. catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.